everybody and welcome back to another Trainton Wild 4 video. You join us on the lovely Northeast Corridor route, this being the uh, Providence to Boston bit. Uh, what was the old name for it? What were they had like when they did those original names for rush hour routes? What was this one? Obviously London Commuter, Navica Dresden, Boston Sprinter. That's the one, Boston Sprinter. Uh, and yeah, we're going to be in the lovely Acela, uh, which is one of my more favourable trains to drive in the USA. Uh, so let's uh, let's get in. This actually goes over 10 miles an hour. Uh, let's get in. Uh, I've not driven this in a very long time, so we might need a little bit of time just to familiarise ourselves uh, with the uh, with the layout. <coughs> let's have a look. Well, that's important. So let's do that. Uh, we'll set that to forward. Uh, a little look see air conditioning we'll get that on actually we'll keep it off I think it was a bit noisy uh, timetable on uh, headlights where are they oh Frank that's already on okay that's fine uh, that's good I think that's about it there is a yeah cruise control oh that automatically comes on okay that's fine uh, but yeah, we're going to be heading up to uh, <coughs> to Boston. Uh, we're calling it Route 128, Boston Back Bay, and then Boston South Station. It's about 40 minutes or so. I saw some of the evening runs were about an hour and 15 minutes. And it was the same calling pattern. So I assume they get stuck behind a slow train. That would be a bit irritating. <coughs> Let's get the uh, safety systems on, wherever they are as well. Ooh, look at that. I don't, actually walk. I don't get why you can't walk down there. It's, it's all there. It's, uh, you can't walk down there. Very cool. Uh, hopefully the audio levels are okay. Uh, right, let's see. What we got? Uh, system's already on. I'm trying to work out where the fuses are for them. If not, we'll just do what shift enter. Uh, unless maybe we don't have to. Maybe they're already on. Well, let's um. Oh, there we go. I don't know if there actually was any buttons for it. Okay, uh, we'll set that to thirty. I can't remember the speed limits too well on this route. I know there's thirty miles an hour into Back Bay Station, a hundred and fifty, I think, up to Canton Junction, and it drops down. Um. Yeah, roughly, roughly know the limits. Let's get the door shut and begin our northeast corridor adventure. It's a really nice route, this one. Like, really nice. Right, let's go. If we've set it up correctly, hopefully, we'll start moving. There we go. We're off, leaving Providence behind. Yeah, like the other rush hour routes, this route is just amazing. Like the rush hour was like the, it was like the top of TSW. It just, it was so good rush hour when it went well, TSW to rush hour. It's just amazing. Brighton Main Line, one of the best UK routes there still is in TSW. So you know it gets let down a little bit, but um, Boston Sprinter. Uh, we've got the North East Corridor, which everyone wanted to see, and you get a nice mix of electric, diesel. Um, the Acela came a bit later on in this. Uh, let's set that up to 60. And yeah, Reza Dresden, which is probably still one of the best um, sort of commute to German routes. It's just, it was sort of ahead of its time. Um, or at least the Brighton Main Line. <coughs> so yeah, that's still. Yeah, let's not go into that. No, we're off. So yeah, it tells us the speed limits. Uh, you can see there. Uh, the signal speed is 125, um, but obviously we're following the track speed limit um, for now until we get out onto the fast bit. Yeah, we haven't driven this train in a while though. I, mean, I reckon the last time we drove this was probably on the Northeast Corridor. Uh, the other one, the Trenton to New York City one, uh, which again, that is another really, really good route. 
Uh, and one we should actually play more of. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, hello. Oh, it's getting angry with us. If you get it in suppression, it's alright. I don't think this one can actually emergency stop you. I don't think it can. Right, that, that's a signal speed. It's a 45. Approach medium. It's one of those trains, it's a bit surprising it's not a combined power brake controller. Well, no, I suppose it's a high speed train, isn't it? What is it there? The TGV, what does that have? And that has a combined one. I mean, the brake on the combined one's not great, but. So you've got a separate uh, throttle and brake. One thing which has never been added to this route was freight. Uh, I don't think there's any freight, no freight runs on this route. It was sort of always mentioned uh, like as sort of something which they were considering to do. Um, but yeah, I don't think it ever sort of well formed actually into having a freight on this route. Then I, I suppose this route is primarily a, a, well a, a passenger route, so. It's a really good route though. Probably one of my favourite US uh, routes. It's probably either this or um, the Harlem line. As I sort of my favourites. I do like New York Trenton. Um, yeah, I don't mind that. That, that is good fun. Uh, especially with the new timetable. It's mental on there. Um, but I think just from the aspect of you get the diesel trains on here. Um, for the M MBTA, yeah, the Boston um, diesel trains with the cab car, I, I love that. I love the mix of electric and diesel on here. Whereas on that route, it's on the other uh, northeast corridor, it's yeah, all electric. Which you do get a nice variety, obviously new uh, NJT. Um, oh, well, uh, yeah, NJT and. Um, Cab cars and an AM fleet. Um, yeah, I, I just prefer this section. It's also slightly less intense as well. It's more sort of chilled out on um, this um, part of the Northeast Corridor. Just two tracks, 150 miles an hour, some of it. Um, not too many stations. Fairly long stretch, so it's just, I know, it's a nice chilled out section. I really hope we're not following another train. There you go, up to 60. Up to 70, although I think it does come down again. A bit further up. Because there's a, there's like a corner. So I might just get it up to 60. Because I'm pretty certain it's going to come down quite soon. So I probably could get it to 70 and still slow down. But we'll just keep it at 60. So, out of Providence, the next station along is South Atterbury. Yeah, it must be, yeah, because then, then you've got Atterbury. I can't imagine South Atterbury would be above Atterbury. So that's the next, there's a 60. So I do remember some things on this route. Also, one of those routes. I mean, I'm not, you know, 100% interested in US routes. Um, they don't, yeah, intrigue me as much as you know UK stuff. But then that's understandable. Um, but this route uh, is, I don't, it's, 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 it's just different. It's like the Harlem line. Um, I know that one. It just hits a different level. It's like I like this. Some routes, uh, Antelope Valley Line. Haven't played that since we've done the first look. 
Is that webcam stretching out of the uh, out of the box? It is, isn't it? Yeah, I can see. Why is my why is my arm? Let me change that. How has that happened? I was having a play around with it. That's probably. Oh, that's fine. Oh, hey, that's fine. I must have accidentally dragged it. Um, yeah, we're fine. I must have dragged it at some point by accident. Uh, let's whack that up to 125. Yeah, I suppose I'm just interested in the, um, the East Coast, you know, New York, the North East Corridor. That's what I like. Um, yeah, I don't know. So this must be a yeah, South Atterbury. Absolutely flying through. It's really uh, just wow. Well, in real life, yeah. Imagine standing there. Um, well, no, say Mansfield, for example. I think we go there through there at 150 miles per hour, and the platform's not, you know, at train level. It's all the way down there. So you're sort of right down. If you're standing on the platform, the train's going to just rock you by at 150. Just yeah, the platforms aren't even big as it. it's. Wow. Right, it comes down to a hundred uh, soon. I know that. I believe it's a hundred for the uh, for the corner. Which I suppose it might start bringing us down soon for that. Yeah, I just thought we'd get in. Well, do something American, as it's been quite a while since we've done something American. That's so we've basically just been doing UK stuff. Um, yeah. I suppose there has been a fair bit out for the UK recently. So two of my, two of my American viewers, uh, a little treat. That's oh, one ten, is it? Oh, one ten, one ten. Oh well. But then for American content on TSW. Uh, recently, it's just been a bit. Well, there's been literally. I don't think there's been anything since Antelope. Uh, and there we go, 150. I'm sure there'll be more to come at some point. There we go. Let's get that. So Atterboro, Mansfield, Sharon. Canton Junction and then Route 128. I think that's the stations. Let's look how close we um, get to the platform, though. I mean, we're going through at what 150. Um, or is this one separated? No, yeah. So this one's yeah, this one's what you would uh, yeah, this one is separated off. But Mansfield, yeah, we'll be going through that at 150, right next to the platform edge. So how funny is that? At 150 miles per hour in the USA, in the Acela is great. It's really good. Absolutely bowling it along. I want to go in photo mode, but at the same time I don't, as I feel like it might just crash the game because we're going at 150, and I suppose it has to pause straight away. So I think we'll wait until we're a bit slower for that. There you go, 150 miles per hour. Let's get a little fly by shot. Such a cool train. I think they, they're, are they in service still? Or are they completely gone now? Replaced by the laughing stock. 
the laughing stock, the Avalia Liberties, which are just horrible designs. Like this looks cool. You see this, and you're like, that's cool. You see the the replacement, and you're like, what's that? Do we risk it and go photo mode? Let's do it. We'll do it that way, that's usually better. There we go. Uh, what side do we want to get? I suppose we'll get that side. Uh, right, field of view. Whack that up, of course. Uh, I don't know. Bit of that, little play around with that. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, why not? Whack that up a bit. Put that up a bit. Bit of brightness on there, so it's slightly dim. Yeah, that might do. Let's get another one as well. Yeah, there we go. That's uh, that's good. Another one. Oh, that's quite nice with the sort of blurred out back. Oh my god, what's going on? <laughs> Whenever that happens, it's like, uh oh, the game's crashed, or we're going to derail or something. And the game's got mixed up. Yeah, absolutely whizzing along. Might be too long until we go through Mansfield. And then the other train you get on here is the ACS 64, which um, has the AM fleet behind it, uh, the locomotive. <coughs> that's That's good as well. And that you can go up to 125 miles per hour, so still really quick. Not as quick as this, although the service times I think are literally are exactly the same. Yeah, this is, um, yeah, this is. And the Acela is DLC. Um, so you can own either New York, Trenton, or this route. And if you get the Acela, it will go on to either. Uh, or both, if you've uh, if you've got both routes. Look at this, uh, 150 miles an hour through this tiny little platform. The horn is very much needed. So imagine if all US routes were like this. Oh my God, hello, what's going on? Don't my oh no, penalty application. I don't think that brings you to a stop on this one. I mean, I hope it doesn't. No, we're fine. Oh, that's it. No, that's actually bringing us down. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, it's bringing us down for that. Let me get the back up. So I've got to keep an eye out. Back up to 1.30. Which seems to be in now. Uh, next station in the air will be Sharon. That's the next one coming up. There we go. Let's pull that back. Oh, it's coming down again. Yeah, don't panic. It's, it's alright. No, we're popping it down. In time as well. Is it 120? No, 125. Oh, straight back up to 130 now. Make your mind up. Huh? Right, we'll take that off and put it back on again. There we go. Yeah, but even if you're not a fan of US content, you've surely got to be a fan of this train. It's just awesome, like, it's such a great train. Yeah, even if you're not really interested in the US stuff. So it's the US could probably quite easily build so many higher speed routes. So we're just in the Midwest where it's just sort of flat. Oh, well, I think actually uh, there was a YouTube video I watched or saw recommended. It, I think SNCF actually did have plans to invest in a high-speed net. Was it four billion or something like that in the Midwest? 
uh, yeah, Chicago sort of being the focal point. Uh, but yeah, I think it basically got rejected. But yeah, and some of these places in the US, so it would be just really quite straightforward to make a high speed line. Because it's just flat. The Great Plains. Sharon. Quite a cool one, that one sort of come around on the corner. That's your Burr Campstead of uh, the North East Corridor. Right, so it's not that far off um, our first stop of Route 128. And then from there, it's, well, not very far to Boston either. <coughs> this is sort of the big stretch. Ready to slow down. And that was a dead section there, which is sort of a neutral section. Don't think they're programmed to work on this route, though. Mm. Yeah, there it is. There's sort of where we are now. Don't think they work that one here. Well, the signal speed's gone up to 150. But yeah, the, our track speed is 130. Right, that's starting to come down. Twenty-five. Should be going over Canton Bridge or wherever it is. There we are, and then Canton uh, Junction. We so say you put the line off to um, Stoughton. So from here we'll just sort of coast it because it's not far to Route 128. And it's also where we can start following the slow services. And as it's been a little while since we've been on this route, I sort of want to take it slightly more steady. Can we go around the corner first? And I think there's a yard on the right of us. Oh no, that's before the other side of him. I think we should see it, should see it pretty well though. Not quite in advance. Yeah, nice bit of coasting. Around the corner, and then there's a straight, and then we're there into Route 28. Yeah, there it is. We're going incredibly quick. Luckily, the brakes are decent on it. Although we are still going at a slightly alarming speed. There's the ACS 64. There we are. That was all right. I was thinking, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna, yeah, it's gonna be close, but platforms are pretty lengthy. Brakes are off now, just sort of coasting it down to the end. And we're stopping on the E. What does the E actually stand for? I thought it was, it was Express. Sort of for the ACS 64s and then the ACS. I uh, know, and the um, um, and the Acela. Here we are. Right, we'll do that. And here we are. Come on, mate, you've got to be quick. 
don't know how long we got here. Oh, not, not well, about a minute or so. Not too long. On time, though, that's always good. What a cool looking train, though. So good. But before long, that'll probably be a slow service. No, 15 minutes. They're just awesome coach. It really is a shame that these have already got. They're just such nice trains. Like, so nice. Um, everything about them is just lovely. Can you get a better um, train in the USA? Don't say the Avelia Liberty. Horrible. So even the logo is it's nice. Everything about this train is nice. The livery, the, just everything about it is, is nice. There's not a wrong thing about this train. Or a bad thing about it. Right. Boston Back Bay next in 10 miles, which it doesn't take long. Right up to 130 miles per hour. Oh, that will drop quite a bit. Uh, is it Hyde Park or New Hyde Park? After there, this will start uh, coming down. As long as you got Reedville, I think that's the next one up. And Reedville is there where we get some more services joining us. So it sort of gets busier as we. Uh, Head into the uh, head into the city. Very nice. Whoa, hello. What was that all about? Lots of beeping. Right, one twenty. There we are. I oh, just really, it's really nice to be back on this train. It's like one of those uh, videos where it's just something I'm really glad I've done. It's just so nice to be back on this route in this train. And some trains you drive and you're like, oh, I'm getting there. This one's like, wow. Really, really like this route. Well, I've always liked this route. Even without the Acela, it's a fantastic route. And I don't know. Who, who prefers what? Do you prefer the new Northeast Corridor? Well, the New York Trenton, or do you prefer this bit? I, do, I think I do prefer this bit. Just because it's um, slightly more chilled out. And also, I prefer the trains as well. I prefer the, um, the F40 PH 3 to the NJT ACS, um, or whatever, ALP46. Those weird brakes. I was wondering if the passenger lights were on. <coughs> I 
So I said they're quite dim on the newer trains. I think they were on, uh, just in case. Yes, yeah, so we're now sort of at the south side of Boston. One fifteen is the limit. So I'm going to pop it down a bit more. Put it about one ten. Just then we sort of have a bit more advanced uh, knowledge of the speed dropping. But yeah, if you have made it this far in the video, thanks all for uh, sticking around for this lovely journey in the Acela Express in the northeast of the USA. So now we're sort of in the cut and cover bit, sort of constantly diving under the uh, the roads and bridges. So the speed should drop quite dramatically quite soon. Um, yeah, I think into Back Bay it's 30, but I think into the tunnel near Ruggles it's about 60. So it should start coming down quite soon. The good thing about this route, you just know all the speed limits. It tells you. And the signals as well. That's a fairly straightforward one to do, Huddless. Yeah, there we are. And you've got like, the metro on the left as well. Obviously, you don't see any trains on it. adaptation as we fly out of the tunnels. Yeah, there we go, alert. Oh, there you go, it's starting to come down now. And there's an F40PH-3 of the Messerschmitt um, cab car. Oh, okay. There's Ruggles Station. I believe we're not speeding. I think it comes down to 60. And then, well, down to fur. I think this, this is just the signal speed, which we're now at. So, that's okay. There we are. There's definitely 30 coming into it, though. So, you sort of go around quite a tight corner coming into Back Bay. Approach media. Pop down a little bit more. But yeah, here we are. And then from Back Bay to Boston the South, it's well, not far, not far at all. Should turn quite sharp to the right soon. Here we are. And there's the 30. And then right round into Back Bay Station. There we go. Half of it sort of covered and the other bits uh, yeah like that another nice station I'm sure it's got quite a cool history to it doesn't really matter where we go here I mean the back of the train's already going to be in so we'll go back we'll just stop here Oh, 
Vulcan from the back bay. I wonder if this is like the, the Vauxhall equivalent. It's just before the main station, but a fair few people get off here. Again, we're on time. Cedar Express. Oh yeah, just one more station. Which is, well, just round the corner. Hey, there goes a cab, co uh, cab car service. Love driving that. Wonder if that will go in ahead of us. Oh no, that one's coming to a stop, right? Has that just arrived? Oh yeah, just arrived that one. Come on, let's get ourselves out of here. Back in. Right, let's go. Or not. Oh, yeah. That one made sense. Right, let's go. We're off. Cool. And we do have a red light. Uh, coming into uh, ba uh, Boston South usually. There we are. Nice. City 148. Was that 148 miles away? <laughs> I don't think it'll be that fast just here. Probably the generic signs, I'd imagine. Uh, but the same ones up there, isn't there? Alright, don't panic train. Panic's too much. It's like no need for it. So it's all good, okay. You have actually brought us to a stop. Yeah, alright, it's okay. Do that, turn it off and turn it back on again. If it wants to go, <laughs> that's the next thing. No, not that way, that way. There we are. The red light's just round here. So we probably, there probably wasn't actually much point of uh, moving anyway. Oh, it says, where's that one going? Yeah, it says that it says we got the signal there, but on there it says stop. But that doesn't look red to me. That looks like we can go through that. Oh, let's go through. 
Actually, it does say it's clear on there. Didn't like it, see? Come on, mate. What's going on? It's been a bit funny now. Because, yeah, the signal was clear, but it was still saying stop. What's this all about? I love the um, approach into Boston South. Hive of activity. There we go. Bad journey. It'd be slightly weird there at the end with the uh, systems, but uh, we're all good. Always busy here. That off goes another train already as we're coming in. Is this anybody's first time seeing this route? Maybe, yeah, maybe you've never seen this route before. So you've got a bit of a nose on this as well, so you've got to be careful when you come to a stop. And also factor in the nose. Here we are. Welcome to uh, yeah, welcome to Boston. Are the tail lights on this? Uh, don't know. Cool. Go back down. Handle off. Maybe that will do it. Let's hop out. There it is, that's the door. Oh, we've got to lock the door. We've got to lock the doors, apparently. Got the tail lights on. We'll get them locked then. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be it, everybody, uh, for today's uh, Transom World video. Not too bad there. Um, yeah, here we are at Boston South, which is always busy. Um, next to be found in the usual places, Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. Um, find it, there we are. But for that, thanks for coming in, and hopefully we'll see you next time. See you all, take care. Bye, guys.